Welcome everyone to this Let's Play where Virik and Jeb have fun with rockets. Now unfortunately today, poor old Jeb isn't having much fun. He is stuck in space and he has no fuel. Now ordinarily, we would send up another craft, uh, dock with Jeb and pass him some fuel. Unfortunately, Jeb didn't take a docking port either. So Bill is going to go and have to go up and get him some fuel somehow. And that somehow is going to be using the Kerbal Attachment System and its partner mod, the Kerbal Inventory System. And it's that inventory system we are going to take a look at first. Now to do that, let us right click on our command pod and open the Seat Nought Inventory. Every command pod has uh, an inventory. Uh, in this case, this one seat in this one seat pod has eight slots for parts and it has a total volume of 300 litres, so there is no way we are going to be taking up an orange tank of fuel under the seat in Bill's craft. But there are other things that we can put into this command pods container. Uh, so first, we are going to uh, take a connector, and connectors are used to connect pipes together, so we need two connectors. We're going to take one up, drop that into the inventory there and we're also going to fix one to the side of Bill's craft and we will therefore be able to connect Bill's craft to this spare connector which we will connect to Jeb's craft and therefore get him some fuel. Now as you can see we're using up our volume, we've used 6.34 litres so far of our space. The next thing we need for Bill is a wrench. Uh, a wrench is a tool, a part of KIS that allows you to connect. Uh, oops, uh, that allows you to connect parts together. Uh, so in this case, connect the connector uh, endpoint that we've already put in our inventory to the side of Jeb's craft. Uh, without a wrench, um, these parts are more or less useless. The next thing we need is the KIS uh, manual or user guide. Uh, the user guide is a part of the KIS system uh, that actually functions as a uh, readable manual. You can actually read this manual in-game if you forget how to do a particular task, so always take it with you. Uh, and it enables you to read about how to use containers, how to mount and dismount containers, how to transfer parts through the inventory system, how to manipulate parts, use tools, which we will see very soon, uh, because we need to uh, attach and detach parts. And of course, we also need a shortcut list that will tell us very quickly how to use each of our tools. So that's an excellent addition to the KIS uh, mod and uh, it's something that we should really recommend to other mod users to do, uh, other mod providers to do. So thank you very much for providing that. So we have our connector port, we have our wrench and we have our manual. So the only thing really left to do is just have a quick skim of the other parts in the Kerbal attachment system and the Kerbal inventory system. So if you were wondering, for example, how you get up more than 300 litres of parts, well, you have the radial attached container that attaches through these container mounts allowing you to take them off and leave them at another base if you so wish. We have a number of inline containers, this one is 6,000 litres or uh, 18,000 litres all the way up to our largest inline container, the five meter container that contains 160,000 liters. So if that's not enough for you, perhaps you just need a couple of them. You also have ground bases that allow you to attach things to the ground. Yeah, that's fairly obvious, I guess. You have electric screwdrivers that allow you to attach much larger parts and also allows you to snap them to the orange, uh, the orange, the green snap points on your various parts. And finally you have explosives and I'm sure we can all find a use for explosives. So with that said, let's get cracking and rescue Jeb. We rejoin Bill just after he has completed rendezvous with Jeb's craft. So 
Let's get uh, Bill out on EVA so he can complete this rescue. Now the first thing we need to do is right click on Bill and open his inventory and you'll see that he now has access to all of the things that we placed into the command seats inventory back in the VAB. So we have the uh, user guide, the connector port and the wrench. So let's right click the wrench and select equip so he's now ready to start attaching. Uh, let's get a Bill a little bit closer to Jeb's craft because uh, Kerbals do have limited range. So uh, let's get him a little bit closer. Uh, tap the RCS just very gently. Get him a little bit closer. There you go. Uh, we can now drag the pipe connector towards Jeb's craft until, in this case, the tank turns green. We can now release the left mouse button and we go into this attach mode. If we press H, you'll hear that little click. We are ready to attach, so let's press the left mouse button. And you'll hear that little thump, uh, which indicates that we have now successfully attached the pipe end connector. So all we need to do now is link these two connectors. So if we right click this connector, you'll notice we don't have uh, a link instruction, which we do if we click this one. And that's because we're not close enough. So let's select link from that pipe connector. You see now I've got this little green translucent pipe. So let's just uh, get a little bit closer to Jeb's craft. And then we should be able to link these two craft together. So let's just come down a little bit closer. Right click uh, Jeb's connector and press link. And we now have one solid pipe linking both of our craft together. So all that remains now is to get uh, Bill back on board so that we can complete the fuel transfer. So let's do that now. Uh, just bring Bill back up towards his capsule. So let's turn him towards his capsule. There we go. Up a little bit more, I think. There we go, grabbed and boarded. Now you'll notice down here in the bottom right, we now have two of our icons here, two of our uh, portraits for our crew. And that's because KSP now considers this to be one single craft uh, linked by this pipe. And of course that means we can right click this fuel tank. Uh, we can right click, uh, alt right click the second fuel tank and transfer in some fuel into Jeb's craft. Uh, so let's do that. Let's transfer approximately half of the liquid fuel and half of the oxidizer. So that's most of our mission now complete. But there is one last thing we need to do, and that is we need to disconnect or unlink these two crafts. So let's get Bill, our engineer, back out on EVA. Uh, and let's uh, just get him uh, a little bit closer to our pipe connectors. So let's get his RCS back on. Uh, move him towards, doesn't matter which one, either will do. So we'll move him towards his own pipe connector here. Let's right click and unlink. So we now have two separate craft. We have uh, Bill's rescue craft here, which we'll just put Bill back into. And we have uh, Jeb's rescued craft. So if we get back in now, you'll notice we now have one single uh, portrait there for Bill and we have one craft here separate for Jeb. And that's it uh, for transferring fuel using connector ports and the KIS and KIS uh, partner mod Kerbal attachment system. They are both simple, effective and brilliant. Download both mods today.